morning. All right, it is a beautiful Sunday today. Oh yes, it is. And this week we're gonna start our weekly daily shop vlog a little bit early. Today, being as it is Sunday, normally I start these on Monday, but this week's gonna be short. And I wanna get this edited up before I leave Thursday morning. So, step one on, to, first thing on today's agenda, Yesterday I was towing with the Yukon. I was pulling the new Audi that we have gotten for the channel. Pretty, pretty interesting. You guys are gonna see it very soon. As soon as we get back from Race Wars, it'll go on the channel and I'll introduce it. But until then, I noticed that the Yukon was having a little bit of hesitation. So today we're going to go ahead and give old girl a good tune up. I just dropped her off the other day. And we got an alignment for her and got her oil changed, got her all fixed up, and today, it's time to put a set of plugs in her. Never done it on this. Since I have owned this Yukon, which mind you, this Yukon has 387,000 miles on it, and I have had it for the better part of five or six years now, and I've never done anything really major maintenance to it, except for do a little tuning on it, put a cold air intake on it, play with the exhaust a little bit you know things just to make it overall breathe simpler so that's one thing that's on today's agenda the second thing that's on today's agenda is my you're new to this channel you won't know him but if you're not Seth is coming out today to help me put in that box finally I'm gonna wait till later on in the day and to open it when he gets here and if you're new to this channel on this channel we do tons of different things most 99.9% .9 all of it deals with Volkswagens and Audis and everything from DIYs maintenance videos to race break repeat if you like stuff like that make sure to go smash that subscribe button guys and let's get started So, we got the Yukon done, and now I think we're gonna tackle a new project. We're not going to put the diff in quite yet. We're still gonna do that today, but I've only got Seth for so many hours, so we're gonna go ahead and tackle swapping the intake manifold back out. I have got my Monster Plenum intake, and I have not installed it yet. So, that's what we're gonna do. So let's get this done. All right, well, intake manifold's off. So let's get the new one, shall we? All right, here's the new one that we're gonna stick on there. Just chuck it in there, right? All right, let's get this thing installed now. Back to our montage. All right, now that we got a fresh battery, let's try this again. So in case I don't know where this left off from, so you see back underneath here where my finger is, my thumb, there's these two little barb fittings that are back there, right? I didn't know this, but those are pressed into the manifold. I thought they were casted in. Needless to say, on the test drive, we made enough boost to blow this plug right out of the back of the intake manifold. So I'm gonna find something to hold this in there a little bit better. I don't know what we're going to use yet. I thought about just grabbing the TIG welder, but I don't have it here. Yeah. Probably just going to use some JB Weld. I think that's the right amount of give a hoots for it. JB Weld. Dad. That'd be the right tool. Okay. This would be a perfect size. There we go. All right, well, after all that shenanigans, we got the intake manifold all sealed up. It is steel, 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 drying. So we're gonna move on to putting in that rear gear. And as you can tell from like the last, like probably, I don't know, 45 seconds of video that you'll actually have watched. Seth's not here anymore. So I'm on my own. So I'm gonna get this thing done. We're gonna get it jacked up might take me a little bit longer than just today to get it done but hey i got three days till race week 
And realistically, this is only like a two and a half hour job. So let's do this, shall we? There we go. One engine. <laughs> One diff. Probably should shut the montage camera off. But that's all we're going to do for tonight. I am going to finish prepping this diff. I got to fill it with fluids. I got to bolt the axle cup in. I need to rub a bolt off that side. And we're going to check the bolt torque here on everything. Pack our cups with ax uh, axle grease, guys, and I'll check in tomorrow. Good night. All right, well, the evening has begun. It is officially Monday. We've got four days, gentlemen, and that 1.8%. Actually, I think it's like 2.1% now, ironically. I don't know. I guess I picked up two subscribers that were female. But that's where we're at. I got the diff completely built, it's assembled, we're ready to rock and roll, and something is going on with my camera. I don't know why it's doing what it's doing. I wonder if it's because it's in 60 frames a second. I don't know. It looks like there's a weird delay. So let's just get this in, shall we? There it is. I got it back on the ground. Guys, it seems like I'm doing a lot of these diffs right around every track of it. There's gotta be something to that. So, maybe there's more to that come. But right now, big, huge, huge shout out to Traction Concepts who helped me get this diff set up. This is a new revision of what we did have and should have a lot more lockup and we're, I am super amped to test this. Go check out Traction Concepts. They support a wide variety of LSDs for vehicles, everything from like Acuras to like Yugos on their stuff. They even do mini trucks. Jimmy Oaks, K Truck to an LSD. Go check out Traction Concepts, guys. Use the promo code JackTrack10 and you'll get 10% off at checkout. So let's go drive this and see how the new diff is. Well, it definitely works. 180% it works. Uh, first thoughts are the lockup is definitely a lot tighter. I want to get some video footage now with the new camera that I have. We might have to find ourselves a parking lot or someplace in Mexico to go run off and hit some donuts for again. And um, just see what, how the rear end's doing, but it does feel a lot better. It feels a lot smoother and a lot more predictable. Um, granted, I only have a whopping 15 minutes in it so far so i really don't know but hey feels pretty good so good enough to drive at race wars and i think that's where i'm going to end this week daily weekly vlog guys thanks for watching don't forget to smash that like button if you have found enjoyment in this video bye i'm Audi. peace all right i couldn't leave it right there i have to just say this one more time lsd's 
are so much smoother than welded diffs. All right, plain and simple, you know, they just are amazing. Guys, if you're out there on the street, street sharking with a welded diff, do yourself a favor. Jump over to tractionconcepts.com, get yourself an LSD for anything you drive. I don't care. The only thing I think they don't carry an LSD, they might even have one, is for a darn power wheel here, okay? I mean, these guys make something, these guys make something for everything. Jump over there right now, use my promo code, JackTrack10, get yourself 10% off, and just go have fun.